Gettysburg, Pennsylvania, family of four. Here we go. We've got three minutes to get through this. Randy, why did you pick Gettysburg, by the way, for a, a June and July sort of departure? Well, in addition to having the best time weather-wise, it's also the uh, start of July was the Battle of Gettysburg. It was July 1st, 2nd, and 3rd. So it's a great time to go there. They, they In the past, we normally have celebrations and things going on, so we'll see what happens this year, but it's a great time to go. And by the way, of course, we're going to quote some prices here and talk some specifics. We're also talking about health and safety. People need to go to Destination Gettysburg because that's where, that's the website, that's where all of this updated information is, right on their homepage, so they know minute to minute, day by day, right? Yeah, before you even go, before you get in the car, just check out the website, make sure you're up to date on everything, and then just get on the road safely. Okay, very good. How many miles, how long is it going to take to get there? So uh, Gettysburg is roughly 218 miles, uh, right. which we clocked at roughly three hours and 25 minutes, according to traffic. Okay, is that from Manhattan, or where is that... Seems a little uh, that far. is from Hohokus, New Jersey. That's my buddy Jerry's place. So we're leaving from Jerry's house. So uh, 218 from Jerry's. <laughs> very good. So, so you and Jerry are going to head down there. Okay, very good. And by the way, uh, cost of gasoline right around now, what, what are we hovering at? Right now is a perfect time. Right now it's about a uh, buck 90 to just over $2, depending on where you get it. Mm -hmm. um, you know, in general, it's one of the cheapest it's been in, in years. So it's a great time to, to, to get on the road. All right. So this makes sense. All right. where We get there Friday afternoon, let's say late Friday in the early evening. Where are we staying? So you want to settle in. There's a lot of great options in Gettysburg. Downtown has historic uh, bed and breakfast, inns, uh, as, long as, as, as well as chain hotels. Personally, I love uh, the Gettysburg Hotel. It's right downtown. A lot of great character and history to it, and it's also super affordable. Uh, you can get rooms right now for roughly 100 to $115 per night. Wow. Um, which for such a nice hotel in, in the summertime season is a great deal. Okay, that makes perfect sense. I do love that property. It is beautiful, and it's so perfect. It's centrally located. It's right down there, so that's a good option. All right, dinner Friday night. Where are we going? Dinner Friday night, I'm going to go to the Dobbin House. Okay. Uh, it's a really cool restaurant and amazing food. And again, uh, really affordable. If you uh, with, withhold from alcohol, a family of four can eat for about $80 or so all in. Oh, wow. Um, so you get a really good meal and a, uh, you know, a really great rate as well. And at least at the time that we're taping this here at the uh, end of May, they're still doing takeout only, which means where are we going to take some of this you know, we have to deal with this Friday night, but also Saturday during the day. If we have to do takeout, where can we go? Well, in general, uh, you know, Gettysburg's a beautiful town. So you can go help have a nice picnic anywhere. Right, right. Um, personally, I would go to the Gettysburg National Park. It's over 6,000 acres. So you're not going to have a difficult time finding a good place to set up a, a picnic for you and your family. Well, that's a, that's a good point because... But there's a lot of options around town. Well, I was going to say that's a good point because, again, Saturday morning, that is the, that's the star of the show there. I mean... There's so much history, and all you have to do is just show up, and you don't have to go to the visitor center. You go right on the battlefield, and, and you can take a tour. Can you do self-guided tours? You can, do, you can drive through it and horseback ride and Segway. Um, and you can just go at any time. You don't need any appointments. It's not self-guided, or you can do self-guided or as well as guided tours. Yeah. Uh, they even have open-air bus rides that you can, you can take and see it. Oh, that's um, cool. So whatever your speed is, you can, you can enjoy it either way. Well, and that begs the question, too. I mean, maybe you haven't been there in 20 years or so, maybe you went as a kid, but, like, what else are we doing while we're there in Gettysburg? I mean, I know we can take a ghost tour, and some of those are available and some aren't. You know, you can take some walking tours. But what else What else are we doing while we're there? Well, in general, the Adams County countryside is just a beautiful area. Um, you know, if, if you have kids, they have apple orchards all over. You can go apple picking. Um, if, you, if you, you know, were there with friends and you wanted to go around, they have a lot of great... Uh, vineyards, and uh, you can take, do wine tastings, beer tastings. They even have spirit tours. Um, so really, whatever you're kind of in the mood for. But I think the main thing is a lot of it's outdoors. And right now, if you're like so many of us cooped up inside, this is a great way to get into a, a, a section of the country that has a, a very unique history. Get outside, safely enjoy yourself, and, uh, and be with your family. So it's, right. it's a lot of great options. And only three and a half hours from Hohokus. Yeah, so, well, exactly. So, I mean, <laughs> trust me, Jerry goes all the time. All right. So, Sunday morning, where are we having brunch before we leave town? Uh, the Farnsworth House Inn, I would go to. Uh, another uh, super old building. It was actually owned by uh, the same Dobbin family who owns the Dobbin House. Um, and it's uh, also, you can eat outside, but also doing uh, takeout as well. Um, and very affordable. You can do the whole family for a brunch uh, for right around $60 or so. 
um, wow. which is uh, which is really reasonable for a great meal. Huh. But again, Gettysburg's got a lot of really good options and, and all within a reasonable drive of downtown. Well, I, I was doing the math here. I was sort of adding things up as we were talking. I mean, it appears to me, family of four, June, July, two nights stay, so that's extended weekend. That's around 500 bucks, depending on what you spend on souvenirs. With gas, so that's not bad for all in. This, this is really a great way and an affordable way to, to get a quick weekend uh, trip. I agree, and let's face it, you wanna help restart the economy? Go on vacation, this is a great way to do it. Thank you, my friend, always good to see you. I'm surprised you can't see me with such a small screen, but uh, maybe we can work in a larger box for me. Okay. Let it go. Would you let it go? I'm trying.